G day, G day. Jack, so what were you doing with those dice? I mean, I mean, that was really. I'm, that was uh, really uh, unwrapping them. Does Holly have a cat on her desk? I don't know. It doesn't. <laughs> Also, her, she's this is my mic. Up. Sorry, this is my mic. My, gotta... it's on my, I improved my mic system, but it just looks like I have a little fuzzball. <laughs> talking into a treble. Yeah, it is basically. Dead cat, isn't it? it is called a dead cat. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It is. So it could be a dead cat, but I, my little streaming area. I've that's that's where to, it comes from. I've tried to improve my the quality of my little tiny stream. Most here. people don't know that. Back in the 1940s, when they first started audio, doing audio recording, they would shove a boom mic up a cat's ass. And that's how you would record the audio. That's why it would not be windy anymore. The more you know, Snapple more, facts. Yeah, yeah. This was on a fake news. <laughs> so, hi. It's been, hi. It's been a while since we put well, not a while, yes. a couple, couple weeks. Um, <laughs> so, let me do a quick recap of everything that's happened. You Dead babies. Dead babies. Um, Wait, what? Large Dead iguanas, uh, oh, any weird cacti. It's it's been crazy, it's been utterly crazy. Um, no, you were transported out of into the thin air where you dropped out of the sky, um, next to a obsidian tower, and as you did so, um, you saw a arch magus, uh, palandria fighting a giant skeleton minotaur. On top of the the tower, you had landed, and you saw a visage, a visage of her, and she asked for your help. You then defeated some skeletons, got led into the um, tower by her servant adjunct, and um, she asked you to go to the king's tower um, or the king's castle to retrieve a scepter. Uh, that has been animating the dead uh, throughout the land. Um, uh, in doing so, you passed, th went past the rusty rabbit, met Bolg, who was the owner. Um, you also met uh, Vintner, Vintner Sirak, who had a cart that you, uh, that you escorted to the rusty rabbit, which you then tried to steal from which was aces. Um, after doing so, you made your way... I wouldn't say steal. What would, what would you technically call it? So, uh, gathering tithes. <laughs> Borrowing forever. Yeah. So, then, uh, you made your way to the marshes uh, where the uh, castle had sunken into the ground, and you saw these wisps with these glowing spirit cords um, that were stretching into skeletons in the ground. Um, after fighting a couple, Brother Cornelius decided to light a path on fire all the way to the castle, or to the spire that was sticking out of the ground as the castle had been sunken into the mire. And you, cl you scaled the walls... And you came to a study room with some tower shields where Blitz ever so valiantly took one of said shields and launched Frank down the stairwell on it. Uh, while doing that so... That was awesome. <laughs> while, while, <laughs> while doing so, a giant spider decided to jump on top of Frank and attack. I did not consent, by the way. As you know, consent is important. <laughs> Uh, Blitz. So, <laughs> so after fighting the spider, you entered into a grand gallery um, inside of this castle, and you are on the second floor. And you noticed that each side of this square gallery had two rooms on it. And you uh, originally went left, and you went into the first room on the left. And you also notice that there's a, st a giant grand stairwell that um, makes its way down to the first floor um, on the right right side of the gallery. But you went left and decided to quietly open up the door into the first room. And what you found, it, it seemed like it was a child's room. And 
on the bed, there were several, several porcelain dolls, almost forming a giant pile. And Blitz had noticed that these dolls were so intricate and ornate, they were encrusted with gems that he ever so wanted uh, to take off and keep for himself. But Frank, riding in his noble steed, Bob, um, jumped on the bed and started to destroy all of the porcelain dolls right in front of Blitz. And in doing so, he revealed a skeleton underneath, a skeleton of a child underneath all of of these smashed porcelain dolls and then two or excuse me three vipers came out of the skull of the child two out of its eyes and then one out of its mouth and then immediately attacked uh our good and noble um fighter frank and that's where we're gonna roll initiative how do I do that again? So you roll, <laughs> so you roll to to do initiative. You roll a d twenty, and then you're going to add your dex modifier. Thank and you. if you if you do get any initiative bonuses, you can add those too. But Jesus, I rolled a five. <laughs> plus, I am plus two dies. Fancy uh, boys paying. His name is Eric. I, I, I got two. I got a twenty total. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Blitz is on top. It's a twenty. Eighteen. Plus Someone's two. gonna have to save me. Not me. He yeah. just broke my 17. dolls. You got a seventeen, brother Cornelius. Am I right? Am I rolling the right die? Maybe I rolled the wrong die. It's I was dope. too distracted by Holly's and my names swapped sideways. Oh, oh you are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. See I thought that. we. That's how we were role playing today. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stone is fancy boy. Fancy boy. <laughs> am I? Is this how I do it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Roll a d twenty and add your dex modifier. Oh, well, I did roll 17, and my index modifier is zero. So I was right. So you got a 17. Awesome. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so Blitz, you see these vipers start to <clears throat> come out of the skull and lunge at Frank. What are your thoughts? How, how many How many are there? You see, you see three. I see three. That are and, that are that are that are just lunging, uh, great. off of this uh, skeleton on the bed. Um, and what, so it's a bedroom, so we're all within kind of distance of each other. Like I could probably reach them before they they strike. Yeah, you you'd be able to get to them. You're probably about seven feet away. Uh, so about five one, to two, seven he's... feet away. Yep. Uh, um. But do you want to? Yes. Yeah, question. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna step back and pull out my short bow and take a shot at him. Okay. The one, uh, the one, I guess, uh, closest to uh, to Frank. Okay. So, so you see, of the three, you see the one lunging out of the mouth, uh, getting closer and closer uh, to Frank. Um, so roll me some, roll me to hit. Uh, all right, some D uh, plus four. Here we go. So sixteen total. Oh yeah, that hits. Give me some damage on that. Oh. I got a D6 plus two. Let's take a shot at it. That is five total. All right. I was hoping it was gonna hit it and like send it and like <laughs> pin it to the wall, like in Indiana Jones or something. Uh, I don't think that was in Indiana Jones. He hates snakes. He hates snakes. Yeah, Boy, I know but... that, but he didn't. And then he looks. He looks at Frank and says, "Don't you forget this." So hey, I didn't need, mate. Didn't need. I was fine. All good. You, you broke my jewels, and I still, I'm still did, helping you. Did, didn't need your help, mate. Didn't need it. So Frank, you didn't. see an arrow come across the, um, across your view, and it slices the snake in half. But the, so the tail drops off, but the the head is still lunging <laughs> forward towards you. Uh, uh, Fancy boy's uh, like. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> brother cornelius you see blitz has now shot is shooting air trying to shoot arrows at these snakes brother cornelius is also you <laughs> I, I, oh my stars still corny brother cornelius is still in shock but he knows well enough from this band of adventurers to 
wait and prepare a healing spell. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So he waits. Okay. Uh, waits and observes. Sure, this is going to be great. Um, the snakes l are still lunging at you, Frank. I'm just just sitting here waiting for my turn. <laughs> 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 Dumbfounded, the snakes flying at you. <laughs> so two of the snakes, Frank, uh, from the eyes, lunge, but can only make it to your stomach and just can't get their fangs in into you. Uh. So they're now just draped over Bob. But the, <laughs> the second one, the, or the third one, that Blitz had cut in, tw in twain has reached you and bit right into your neck for a crit. Ugh, Which is going to do... Nine points of damage. Oh, wow, that's a lot! I have four left, all right. Because I haven't leveled up yet, right? No, not yet. You, uh, you'll, you guys, that's, I forgot to announce it at the end of last show. So you're, you will level up once you <clears throat> take a long rest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All that's going to do for me is give me more HP, really, or AC. No <laughs> HP, what am I saying? So I'm, I'm still just sitting here waiting, right? Yep, so fan it... Fancy Boy, you have seen, you have seen Frank uh, lunged at by this viper and ha with his teeth now firmly implanted in his neck. Just got one Holy sitting right shit. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't say. You don't say. <laughs> I'm oh glad God. I paused. <laughs> yeah. uh, is it my initiative? Am I? Yeah, go for it. All right. I will just uh, cast magic missile on the one in Frank's neck, like with one manicured. No, claw. please don't. At this point, I'm just <laughs> Every time you try and save me, just stay back. I got this. It's all good. I got this. Uh, okay, so that's. Oh man, I haven't cast magic missile in a while. So oh, roll, let me, roll. okay, so that's two yeah. damage. <laughs> Wait, what? You uh, did, oh. roll three three d uh, fours. Oh, okay, that's right. And then you add mm. you add one to each each roll. Okay, four, five, six. So, so okay, so nine damage. Sorry. So Frank, you I did it wrong. <laughs> Frank, as you look over with this viper plunged into your neck, you see Fancy Boy just cast a wave of um of psychic missiles at you as they lunge towards you the snake seems to blow up essentially <laughs> essentially from the, from the bottom of its tail or its torso all the way up to your neck it just starts to explode Ew. and you are now just covered in snake guts from neck to torso gross so I gross how it handled. I like did you help theme. Ugh. It's just God, like, that how many ate. layers of goop are you coded in at this point in the adventure? Too many. Too many. <laughs> I saved food. you! <laughs> <laughs> I really wish you didn't. I had it all good. Had it all handled. But then, uh, but then, uh, Bob. Oh, well, no, nice. Bob's still covered in the snakes, right? Mm -hmm. So, so, so uh, Frank, you are now on top of this bed. Uh, <clears throat> Fancy Boy has saved you from death. But God damn chicken. You still have two vipers that are at your waist that are, are on top of Bob. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the snakes, mm -hmm. stick both their heads in my mouth, and bite their heads off. <laughs> I think I can pull that off. Is that okay. arm strike? <laughs> okay, so roll me uh, first roll me a dex check to try and grab them. So that you got, you got, you basically got to tell yep. me what die to roll yep, every time. Absolutely. So when you're doing, when we're doing, remember, yeah, this is a learning stream. So remember, when we're do, ask any questions you want. Um, so when when we're doing checks, when I say I'll do a check, it's usually going to be a d20 and then the modifier that I ask okay. for. So just roll your d20 and then you add your dex bonus to it. So eleven. Okay, you you're able as you reach down, you're able to pick up one, and the other one is swirling around uh frank now and it's almost it, you kind of see it trying to go around uh, it's not frank bob's neck and kind of constrict around his neck but you have the one in your mouth now make me a strength roll so that's uh that's 20 again yep d20 plus your strength 23 
<laughs> okay. I'm um, pulling the whole thing. Oh, it's going all the way down. <laughs> okay, so you pick up this serpent and roll me uh give me a d6 plus two six you put it in your mouth and crunch down and it you see its tail that is the rest of it uh that is beyond your your hand just drop to the ground but you can still feel its head wiggling inside your mouth mm mm Mm, delicious. You're right, Bob. He's so, fine. <laughs> so, Blitz, you uh, see Frank just chomp on one of these vipers, it, but you also notice one is starting to try and make its way around Bob's neck. And the fancy boys just watch it as like... <laughs> <laughs> like, as, as it unfolds, he's just frozen. <laughs> I'm almost tempted just to leave him. Um, <laughs> I guess the pig never did anything to me. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my keep my short bow out and uh, take a shot at the one going around uh, Frank, uh, Bob's neck. Okay. All right. Uh, here we go. Not that is a hit. 23 to hit. Okay. Yeah, you hit it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, and then D6 plus damage. two. Yep. That is a seven hit, or seven damage. Seven damage? Awesome. Okay, so when you shoot, you notice the arrow is, uh, or you notice the viper is slowly making its way around um, Frank's neck, or Bob's neck, and as you shoot your arrow, it splices the viper right in the middle, but launches it off of Bob, and connects it into one of the bedposts. So you see uh, the viper is now forming a U-shape on the bedpost. Gross. Nice. Nice. Saved your pig now. The, the pig says thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm done helping. I know uh, I'm going to start looking. I'm going to start looking anyway. around the room. Didn't need it anyway. Brother Cornelius, roll me a perception check. This sounds ominous. Ooh, that would be a five. Okay, thanks. Now it's uh, your turn. You have seen Blitz um, shoot a very skillfully shoot a, uh, a, a viper off of Bob, and Frank bit the head of a viper uh, into <laughs> his mouth. How badly? Like how how badly damaged does does Frank look, brother Frank? Do you require healing? Yeah, if you feel like it. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, sure, we'll heal the the odd odd gnome giant with uh, cure wounds. Cool. Roll those dice. Ooh. You get two hit points back. <laughs> I rolled a Thanks two. Thanks for drawing. Yeah, that's. Nice. Mm. Mm. Uh, you could add your uh, you add your spell modifier to that too, oh, right? Spell modifier. That would be. Would that be the proficiency bonus? Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's going to be uh, for you. Uh, it is a uh, wisdom. Your wisdom modifier. No. Oh. Five. There you go. So you get seven hit points back. No, ah. five total. Oh, five total. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So uh, for the last, for the last time. Uh, Brother Cornelius, after you cast that spell, you start to feel a slithering crawling up on the inside of your leg. <sighs> Boy, how did... How did... I'm I'm not giving my comments to that one. Um, something something <laughs> forgot to zip yeah, his pants. Yeah, where, did go with this? where did I go with this? Hey. Oddly familiar feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so Frank, uh, you can still feel the fangs of the chomping head inside of your mouth. 
<clears throat> and does a 12 hit you? Does it does 12, a 12 hit me? Yeah, what's That'd your be AC? Armor class. Ah, uh, twelve. So, I... so yeah. So, as as you're chomping down on this viper's head and this and the the remaining fragments of its body, it bites back and right through your tongue. Ow! Uh, why did I waste a healing spell? Hits, hits you for seven points of damage. Ah. Uh. So that that so downs gross. him. Yeah, life choices. Right? Or wait, no, no, that's right. He healed him up for five, so he's he's at yeah. two now, I he's think. At, he's at two because he got healed. I'm hanging on, guys. So good. <laughs> that was a that was a wally one. Ugh. Um but so gross. Out, out, out of out of the corners of your eyes, Frank, you, you notice that the one viper that Blitz has pegged to the bed frame uh is still is not uh trying to attack you at all so it's just kind of laying there limp um but brother cornelius does a 10 hit you what this is going to be off your ac my ac is 16 so no you feel the fangs of a viper um scratching your leg <clears throat> You. But nothing. Lower. But but it can't break the Lower, skin. Lower, please. <laughs> uh, fancy boy, you see, you see Frank almost. Uh, you see him lunging in pain. You also <laughs> see. You also see this other viper pegged to one of the the boards of the uh, of the oh. bed, and Brother Cornelius seems to be dancing a little. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess I'll just go ahead and cast a magic missile again on whichever one is is the threatening my party the most. Oh, Brother Cornelius' oh, crotch or, or Frank's mouth? Oh, oh, uh, I think Frank's down, so I guess I'll get the one on Frank so it doesn't do any more. I'm all... oh, he's still it's up. He's got, he's got two. He's got two HP. Yeah, he's got two HP. Oh, you're still up. Okay. Go for Frank. Go it's, for, it's literally in his Frank. mouth. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, well, it's it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. Oh, I have a bow. Okay, so that's uh, 10 damage. So you're casting magic missile into Frank's mouth? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Frank's uh -huh. like, is just like, don't eat bad things. Explain this. How does this... Uh, I told you not to eat bad things. So Holly made... A fantastic choice because magic missile always hits. It always exactly, it always hits its yeah. target. And so, I'm guessing it's really hard to hit a snake in someone's mouth. So <laughs> so this is the best. This is like the best uh, alley oop ever, right? Yeah. So you launch your missiles from your hand, and they directly go into the <laughs> Frank's mouth, and immediately Frank, you are blown off of Bob. You slam against the back wall and you feel the viper's head in your mouth explode. And it fills your entire mouth with guts and, bl and, and blood. Ew. It sounds like par for the course. Mm, that's the first good thing you've ever done. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Um, Frank. You now are chewing on the <laughs> remains of this viper. Tastes better cooked. Mm. What do you want to do? You see, you see one viper, the 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 last viper uh, that Blitz had pegged to the board. Uh, oh, this bed. one's for me. Can I get my dire flail and just hit it twice? Mm -hmm. Just smash the crap out of it. You're you're gonna automatically hit because it can't move. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm a bit delirious. Then okay, then t then make a roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can, I can. I'll hit it. I'll hit it. I just want to obliterate the thing. I like it. Uh, so roll me some damage. Uh, so damage is two d eight. Mhm. Mm Plus the three. Okay, so it'd be four and eleven. So you stumble up 
to this viper that you can see through this clouded haze of venom that are, is coursing through you. And you just smash and start smashing it in the same fashion that you smashed the porcelain dolls originally. <laughs> and you bust this side of the bed off and in doing so, crush this spider. That one for my tongue. <laughs> Uh, Blitz, you see, you see Frank beating the crap out of a bed. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and you see, uh, Brother Cornelius dancing for some reason. But you don't know why. Cornelius, what's going on over there, buddy? All right, go Cornelius, <laughs> what's going on? Hey. Forgot. God, do that accent. Yeah. I, I grab my robes and lift. Ha! Oh, <laughs> Where'd those uh, two snakes come from? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You, uh, you, you, you trust me? Do you trust me? Um. <laughs> <laughs> more than more than the bird. <laughs> right. I just saved two people. <laughs> Be All gentle. Right, uh, Be I gentle, no. All right, close close your eyes, and then he's gonna pull out the short or the uh, short bow and take a shot at it. Sweet Jesus! Grab it. No, nope. This isn't close to him. All okay, right. So roll the hit. Nope. All right, here we go. That was an eighteen plus four, twenty-two to hit. Okay, you give me some damage. All right. Clutch as liking, liking these new dice. That's five damage total. All right. So, so you loose your arrow at Brother Cornelius's crotch. And <laughs> um, in doing so, you catch the viper that has been crawling up his leg and Ugh. loose it from from its, its constriction. And it pegs onto the, the nightstand behind Brother Cornelius. Thank God it was the right. Never mind. Good day. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Brother Cornelius, you <clears throat> feel this gush of wind go through your legs as you see an arrow from Blitz's bow. Not the first bow. time. <laughs> from Blitz's bow comes striking through and launches and spikes the viper behind, uh, behind you onto a nightstand. <clears throat> What do you feel like doing? Is it is it dead? No, still it's still kind of um, with its front uh, part of its body. It's still trying to uh, bite you with its fangs. Um, in that case, uh, I will. Uh, Brother Cornelius readies his hammer and swings. <laughs> there you go. So roll me to hit. I don't think this is a hit. <laughs> I rolled a three. Did you add, so, did you add your proficiency bonus and your strength? That would be a six. Yeah. So you swing down with might uh, from your hammer, and you break a portion of the nightstand off. And as it breaks, you see um, necklaces come flying out of the nightstand. But ah, you, com you, complete, fortune. you completely <laughs> miss completely miss the viper. Some blitz to magic blitz spells. breaks up. <laughs> <laughs> Worked exactly as planned. More Your fancy boy's just like distracted by these more. shiny things like <laughs> Brilliant. You say miss, Brother Cornelius says hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except the snake's still alive. <laughs> um Brother Cornelius, the snake <clears throat> The snake tries to bite you, and it, it gapes its fangs right towards your body and can't reach you and pulls back. Uh, Frank, you see Brother Cornelius fighting with a nightstand, <laughs> um, but there's also a viper on it. Oh, well, first I laugh a lot. So does Bob. <laughs> We're both just sitting back enjoying the show. Idiot. 
<laughs> all right, I got this one, mate. You can keep your jewelry. And I just run up and just smash the crap out of it. Because that's all my character can do. All right, so you run up and roll the hit. So that's the d20 plus your strength. 11. Don't tell me I missed. So you <laughs> run up, you lunge past Brother Cornelius and smash the other side of the nightstand. <laughs> and some more, ne uh, no, no, more no, necklaces no. fall off on that side. Uh, you, no one's seen that. No. No. So. Is, <laughs> okay, okay. So fancy boy. <laughs> oh, I just realized, sorry, sorry. I haven't leveled up, have I? Not yet. No, oh, damn it. You, got it, you guys got to make a, a long rest. Um, so fancy boy. Uh, you now see Brother Cornelius and Frank beating the crap out of a nightstand. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> but there is... I didn't think it was that badly decorated. I, I, I swear it came to life, started the tachinus, I swear. I swear. But there is a viper in the middle of it that has been shot. Um, is he is he stuck or does he look like he's free-forming? He, he's, he's, he's wiggled his way off of the arrow. Uh, would it be possible if I could cast Mage Hand to hold him? Yes, you absolutely can. <laughs> All right. Um, but roll me. I'll, I'll need the, I'll, like a I'll, grapple check. Yes, exactly. Roll me a strength. Okay. Check. Um, that's a six. <laughs> so you cast Mage Hand, and it lifts the snake up into oh, the air. Oh, it's like one of those stuffed animal machines. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a claw. And it's, and it's just kind of like it's wiggling back and forth, and as it does so, it's it's reaches the zenith above uh, of of Brother Cornelius's head, oh, and then no. and then drops and lands in a spiral on the top of Brother Cornelius. Oh my god! Uh, Blitz, you now I almost won. <laughs> I lost. Blitz, you see. Uh, Frank and, and Brother Cornelius beating the crap out of this, this uh, nightstand, but now Brother Cornelius has a snake that is curled up on the top of his head. God, I might have to do everything for everybody. Um, what, what, are these, what are these necklaces look like that fell out of the... the um, they're the gold. Uh, just, they're gold necklaces, but they're, um, they're, tiny, they're, they're small. Um, they would have been... They look like they would have fit a child. Um, and they have small little gems that encrust all of them. Hmm. All right. Um, all right. I'm gonna run up and uh, try to knock this thing off of um, off of Brother Cornelius's head. But I'm not. I'm not gonna take my my uh, my short bow on this time. I'm just gonna walk up. I'm just gonna just uh, just. Uh, open hand attack him just so I don't stab him in the face just in case. Thank God. Uh I don't know what my unarmed what is unarmed strike? It's gonna be a one D four. And that's it if I if I hit? Okay. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So I'm just gonna just go for the punch this All time. Right. I'm just tired of dealing with these snakes. All right. This give, it, is... give it a D twenty plus your strike. D twenty that's a eighteen to hit. Okay. You got it. And then it's trying to clear it. Here we go. One d four. That's a four. Okay. So, Flirt. How 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 does this snake get killed? So, uh, kind of in just like a sort of a, a flustered, like God, really? Okay. Blitz is just gonna walk up and just right hand punch the snake right in the face, and then just keep walking and just like start looking immediately for for loot. <laughs> like not even not even care. Just as, as long as he knows it goes, it clears off of his head. Yep. He's like, all right, fine, I'm done with that. This is gonna be the last time he hits, whether or not it it, it kills it. So, uh, uh, Frank, you see Blitz walk up, punch Brother Cornelius right above his head, and the viper. Mm -hmm goes flying off and smashes onto your face <laughs> but explodes as it does Ew! with such force that the guts now match the same guts that are in your mouth. Why does this keep happening? And then he just drip, grabs it off his face and goes oh licks it God. off his fingers. <laughs> your mouth, you go, your mouth goes a little numb. <laughs> Ew! Well, well, there goes my mouth again. <laughs> Um, Blitz, you find about 
five to six uh, um, different little necklaces um, that have come out of each side of the nightstand that Frank and Brother Cornelius so graciously destroyed. Um, I pocket. I pocket three of them and hand two over to uh, Brother Cornelius. Ah, uh, match made in heaven. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you know me so well at this stage. Uh, I know what you like, brother. <laughs> and there's one left. Oh, there, okay. Then I'll give him three. I'll take three. I'll take half and half. I thought, I thought you said there was five. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Six. Yep. So the vipers have now been vanquished and you are alone in this child's room. That, with with a smashed bed. Why is, did you smash the bed? <laughs> there, there was there was a snake on it. What else are you gonna do? Uh, can I can I do a perception check around this room? I mm -hmm. just like I want to know what like or maybe I don't know if it would be a perception or like not necessarily insight. I just want to know like why like what this was for. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, roll, uh, you, roll, you can roll a perception if you want. Okay, I got a three, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm also, also going to look around to see if there's anything else. Sure, fancy boy. The what you do notice are several portraits around the room mm. of a um, a child, uh, a female child with black hair, and she's always with um, someone you think would be her father. Okay, a father figure. Does she maybe look like she could be the sorcerer, like a younger version of her? Uh, the sorcerer. I mean the. Oh, the, uh, the archmagus. Uh, no. Yes, yeah, sorry, archmagus. Yeah. This, okay. This looks totally different. Um, okay. Uh, 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 Blitz. What did you roll on your check? Oh, uh, that is a fourteen plus four, so an eighteen. Okay, so Blitz, you noticed the same uh, portraits that Fancy Boy did, um, of a child with black hair and a man that is always with her that you would presume is her father but you also know on him what you see in every picture on his clothing there's always a crest of a lion um, crushing a serpent which you notice which you remember from those tower shields all uh, right from, from when you launched uh frank down the stairwell <laughs> so clearly he's someone in, important within this castle well, I think we should rest here. <clears throat> I would, but yeah, the, good about this. someone destroyed the bed. <laughs> we can Have fix it. Hmm? Have you never slept on a floor? No. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sleeping here. You just do what you want. I got Bob as a pillow. Come here, and I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's my contribution. <laughs> Lord. So are you guys are you guys gonna take a long rest here? Or what do you I mean? It is, it is a I bed have two room. health. I have no choice. Is, is the door the only? I mean, uh, have we checked the room to make sure there's nothing else moving in this room other than us? You haven't, uh, Blitz. As you were going around the room, um, you didn't see anything else threatening. And the door is the only way in and out of the room. Yep. Uh, I, I say we uh, we 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 block that door. Maybe take a little nap. Maybe push the. Uh, cabinet in front of it that's my brother gnome sounds like a grand idea i'm already asleep so go for it <laughs> okay so who's do, are you, so you're gonna take a long rest then who's doing the watches or are you are you gonna do set watches or just uh brother cornelius will take the first watch i think uh blitz is pretty uh Probably will not sleep after having a snake tangle up the inner. <laughs> yeah. I think after Blitz pretty much was responsible for the murder of all three of those those vipers. He's got a, or except for the one in the mouth, I guess. Of what? <laughs> <laughs> I helped a bunch. There's a lot of work for for three small necklaces or, or bracelets. So he's gonna nap out. He's gonna conk out. Okay. Uh, Fancy boy will watch whenever they need him to. Okay. He's fine. He has I'm to just study his like, spells anyway. He's just like, woo, 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 woo. and someone probably has to tell him to be quiet at least like four different times trying to sleep. <laughs> All right. So, Brother Cornelius, you take the first watch. Um, and you, as, as you're um, doing so, you notice you can hear just creaking 
um, coming that's outside of um, <coughs> the door, but you also hear creaking inside of of the room itself, but nothing that's gonna um, really make you too too worried. It's 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 just it almost sounds like it's an old just um, the sounds of an old castle shifting. To be safe, can I drag the pig? to fortify the door. Sure. Um, Frank, what 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 would uh what would Bob do in this situation? He well, he's asleep, so he's been woken up, so he's like <laughs> and then immediately bites his hand. <laughs> what the hell? Um, well you can't just wake him up and drag him away. He thinks he's being kidnapped or pignapped. Okay, roll me a D twenty. <laughs> And brother Let's Cornelius do down. <laughs> no, do, I add my do, I, do I add my modifier? You no, know, you're going to add plus two. Brother Cornelius okay. prepares sacred 16. 16. Brother Cornelius, does that hit you? What's your AC? 16. 16. Okay, roll. Don't uh, mess with my pig. Uh, uh, Frank, roll me a D4 plus one. Five. <laughs> Brother Cornelius, you take um, Bob bites you on the hand, and you take five points of damage. He just rips the whole hand off. He, just, Son of a he leaves he leaves markings up and down your hand of uh, okay. of teeth. Well, this is not good. I have I have five left, so I'm at zero. <laughs> <laughs> we have a first player down, and it's because of our goddamn pig. <laughs> Don't ah! wait, don't wake Bob while you're sleeping, all right? I think it's dead. Are you at literal zero? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> I took a hit for five before. I have ten, and now I'm at five. So five off. So it's like, yes. <laughs> Do we hear the commotion? Uh, Blitz, you hear, you hear uh, Brother Cornelius scream in a little pain as he drops to the floor with Bob's... Um, teeth around his wrist oh god damn that pig uh what happened uh brother you okay he, he doesn't answer brother. oh god damn it all right any uh i'm gonna wake up frank to tell him to get his pig off of uh brother cornelius and then go uh, start eating cornelius. Uh, okay so you, <laughs> so you what happened your, your pig just murdered our healer <laughs> Oh, well, he must have tried to wake him in his sleep, idiot. Oh, well, hey, come here, Bob. And then he secretly whispers to him, good boy, good boy. We're out of here. Um, what do so you want me to do about it? I'm not a medic. He'll be right. Uh, I'm going to administer whatever aid I need to to get... Uh... Yeah. You you, stabil you stabilize Brother Cornelius um, after his gripping, you know... Uh, bite to the hand um, wait did he knock him out yeah. <laughs> oh my Bob. god look if you're if you're, if you're that soft where you get knocked down from a pig bite in your hand you weren't gonna last long anyway it's oh my best. god we leave him there he'll distract any enemies we can just brother, move forward it's all brother good. cornelius will remember this Oh no! no, oh, no. <laughs> it's the text on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he will remember this, and it zooms in on on Bob's face, like. Mm. <laughs> um. So, Brother Cornelius, your your watch has ended, and <laughs> you are now going to sleep this one off. Oh, the the irony. <laughs> Uh, Blitz or Fancy Boy, who's who's taking the next I, watch? I'm fine. I don't think I even am missing any hit points, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm fine. So I will take the next one. All so, right. Fancy Boy, uh, Brother Cornelius goes to bed um, in his disheveled and almost death state. Blitz, are you you're you're going back to sleep after triumphantly uh, saving uh, Brother Cornelius from? Yeah, after after bringing him back to life after a pig <laughs> murdered him. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna hit the sack again. All right, uh, Fancy Boy. This time at, during your watch, mm. every probably thirty minutes or so, 
you get a whiff of pipe smoke Ew. that comes from underneath the door. Smoking is bad for you. But then it it, van <laughs> it vanishes. The whole time he's just like sitting there looking around at like a fly or something in the room, like trying <laughs> to catch it with his beak, like. <laughs> <laughs> And that's his watch. Yep, and and that's that's all you you get or you all you can tell. It's um, weird. Uh, now Blitz, during your watch, you also um, get every every so often you get a whiff of pipe smoke, and you can hear a steady thump. Um, not the not the thump of footprints, but of something getting hit against the walls. Like someone's bouncing a ball off of it or something. Or something, yeah. Something's like a thud that is hitting the walls. All right, so I'm I'm, just, I'm resting my back up against the door, watching over the room, listening for this, and just playing with my one of my daggers on my fingers, just staring at, at Frank and Bob. Just... You, you don't want to try and move Bob to the door? No, 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 I'm good. I'm just... <laughs> Thinking about, you know, maybe if I made a handle in his neck and then pulled him over, that could do it. But <laughs> you need some falconry gloves to take to the pig. Um, so uh Blitz, your 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 watch ends and you are everyone wakes up and you're all rested now. So um after you go through a eight hour rest, your all your spell slots are back. <clears throat> Frank, you're healed up to full. <laughs> Yay! And you are so now level two. Yay! Brother Cornelius is alive again. Brother Cornelius is alive and hopefully well. Yeah. <laughs> so how much? Okay. So question then, mm -hmm. as you as we roll up to level two, mm -hmm. so we get the our new rolled hit points. Mm -hmm. How much do we like? How much would after a long rest would my character heal? You heal up to full. Okay. Okay. It's like it never happened. Yeah. Oh. Axe to the face. Oh, it it happened. Yeah, I, I hope we all learn a lesson today. Don't mess with the pig while he's sleeping. Sacred flame first. Barbecue the pig. Then move it. I've seen you try and use a hammer, all right? You just, you watch your back. You come for my pig. I do have a crossbow. I come for you. <laughs> How fast can you reload that thing? You got to take out both of us. <laughs> I just Did you guys you. hear a ghost? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I heard a ghost last night. I heard a... I, I uh, heard a thumping noise, but no, no ghosts. I mean, I smell the I smell the pipe. It's uh, pipe smoke. You smell that too? <clears throat> yeah, I think there's either a ghost or a wizard here. A wizard ghost. It's a wizard ghost. <laughs> we got a ghost butler walking around. <laughs> so the nightstand is still in front of the door, which was placed there, um, and the. The room seems like normal, or well, as normal as can be in this um, ruined castle. Hey, 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 Frank, Frank. Yep. Is uh, what what is Bob like? Like, does he like uh, like sausages or like does he like vegetables? What what does he like? What does he like? What does he like chasing? He'll eat anything, honestly. He'll even yep. eat a hand if it's presented to him. Brother Cornelius agrees with us. <laughs> Does, does he have any uh, toys, anything, like anything that he uh, likes playing around with? Look, I know, I know where you're going with this. I don't support it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, I Blitz shoot, starts. I assume his plan is going to get me hurt like the last one. <laughs> so uh, Blitz is going to push the uh, the dresser out of the way. Okay. And then... Uh, and try to get Bob, try to get Bob's attention. Hey, uh, uh, hey Frank, is there is there any? Do you have any does uh, Bob know any tricks? Does he know like fetch or anything? Or uh, he knows how to bite. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Cornelius, I mean, you much <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you need my pig to do? Uh, I, I want him to, him to do anything. All right, uh, tell him to go outside and look around for a, a, a ghost butler smoking a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> And he opens yeah. the door. Like, ah, <laughs> hey, he'll do it. He ain't scared. Go on, Bob. <laughs> he runs off, all excited. He likes to help. 
And so Blitz kind of looks around the corner watching uh, Bob as he runs out the room. Okay. So Bob um, makes his way out of the room, and he you see him go left on the gallery. Um, it, and the next door over, he kind of sniffs at, hits it twice, but then... Um, runs to the other to the uh, north side of the gallery and s- hits on a door over there and kind of sits right down in front of it i think he found something probably found more hands to eat hopefully what do you think is in this room next to us Well, I don't know. That's well, we should knock on the door. Hello, <laughs> like fancy boy, <laughs> knock on the door. Um, and you you hear nothing from the other side. Well, no one's in there. Not I'm not touching de- it. Not, not even hello de- from the other side. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Frank yep. immediately kicks down the door. Thank you, Adele. All right. Frank, Frank kicks down the door. Yeah, kicks down the door. Of, Maybe of the- they're deaf. Maybe they can't hear us. So you, we've got to give him a visual hello. <laughs> so you actually, so you kick down the door of the the room next to you, right? Is that the one we're going for? Or are we going? Or the yeah, one, yeah. or the one that uh, Bob is in front of? I was in the one next to us, right? Okay. Ah. Oh, I, I thought I knocked on the one where Bob was in front of. Confusion. Uh. That's where I went. So. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, fancy boy, you hear nothing uh, from your side. Blitz, uh, if you're still at the one um, that is right neck is to the left of the the room. Yeah. Um, you don't hear anything, but if you open it up, if you open the door up, you see what looks like a dressing room. You see um, tons and tons of royal robes, um, tabards. You see a giant plate of uh st- of steel armor in the in the far back um corner or the, uh, against the far wall is a complete set of knighted armor and um just uh, in the center there is a table um you see one side has all different types of boots and belts uh you could safely assume that this would have been the king's uh dressing chambers all right, I'm going to slip in kind of quietly and shut the door behind me. <laughs> uh, Brother Cornelius, what are you doing at this time? Uh, he... <laughs> but you shut the door behind you. He, uh, he, I think Brother Cornelius is going to watch to see what everyone else does while keeping a safe distance from the pig. <laughs> so you're going to stay out on the gallery? Yes. Okay. Um, Frank, are you going with Fancy Boy or are you yeah. going with Brother or uh, I, with Blitz? I, I, I went to support my pig and uh, and then immediately kicked down the door. <laughs> okay, so We're gonna uh, find out. you kick you kick down the door. You get back on top of Bob. You kick down the door, and Fancy Boy, what you notice um, as you open the, as this door is blown open, that this is not what you would have ever expected to see inside of a ruined castle Uh inside this, this is a giant bed chamber, but in the center of the bed chamber is a giant tree that's growing up and, and it's leaves and, and limbs spread across the entire ceiling of the room. You notice, um, sev- uh, Frank, what you notice is, besides this giant tree, you notice um, several desks that have different jars on them, of all, and you can see that they're all different types of herbs. But you also notice a giant uh, king-sized bed um, that looks ro- uh, very royal. Oh, so it's still my turn. Yep, you and Fancy Boy can do what you want in this room. There's no one. Uh, so. uh, fancy Chicken. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little confused. <laughs> I, I. Oh, same. Use use your use your fancy brain. Figure this out for us. All right. Can I do an Arcana check on this tree? Absolutely. All right. Let's do that. Oh, uh, that's an eleven. Okay. So 
you do, you don't recognize the tree, but what you do see as you look um, across its leaves and across its limbs, there is rotted. Uh, you see rotted pears um, throughout all of its limbs, but there is one that is not rotted and kind of glistening. Oh. And it almost looks like there's a swirl in the middle of it. Ew. Yummy. Don't eat that. <laughs> that, that sounds like a challenge. I'll get I'll get my mage hand to pick it. I don't oh. want to touch it. Okay. So you pick it up or the, the you grab it with the hand and what happens? Also my mage hand is a little bird claw. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so just cannon. You you um arcade claw this uh, new prize that, <laughs> that 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 will drop out of the machine. Um, yes, you got it this time. Where, yeah, where what do you do with it? I want to bring it up closer to me and look at it and try and try and check that once it's closer to me. Yeah, closer uh, to my face. So as it comes closer and closer, you notice that there is a swirling coming from the inside, and that this is this pear is not made out of any um you know any any kind of living material but it's made out of glass oh interesting and as it gets closer it gets a little brighter and brighter to you uh, the closer huh. and closer it gets do i think the other pairs were made out of glass too or are no, they just they, real pairs they look like rotted real pairs oh all right mm -hmm. well once it's close to me i'll take it with my real hand mm -hmm. and, and just kind of like look at it and pocket it i suppose yeah, um, you can clearly tell that there is a um, there is some magic coming from within this mm. this pair as you take it. Um, so you you're probably going to have to identify it to figure out what it is. Okay. To to use it. All right. Well, I don't think. I mean, I can only Arcana check. I don't have the identify spell. Yep. So until someone smarter than me comes along, well, it's that, now mine. Give that, me a look. <laughs> or no. for our new players, you can you can spend uh, one hour with this thing in meditation. That's right. And you, uh, so for Stone and Landon, if you get like a magical item, you can spend okay. an hour with it and learn its properties. Any any character? Even me? Yep. Huh. Wow. But we're not giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Blitz. You are looking around this room, and you just you see. Um, I'm gonna quickly go put my birds to bed, and then be right back. Yep. <laughs> uh, Blitz, you see just all of these royal regal clothes, and what you notice is what you noticed before on those pictures. <clears throat> you see the crest of the lion and the serp uh, crushing the serpent on everything. Even uh, even on the uh, suit of armor, you see that same crest. Um, am I am I alone in this room? Does it feel like I'm alone in this room? Yep, feels yep. Uh, a is there anything of value in here that's pocketable? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, oh, oh, go ahead. And B, are there any uh, suits of armor or robes or awesome looking things that would fit me? Okay, uh, <laughs> roll me a perception check. All right, my perception. Oh, throw a one. <laughs> okay. Um, the you, one time. You, you don't notice, you don't see anything that can fit you as you're walking around the room. You're checking all of um, the drawers and the cabinets. Um, there's nothing of your size. Uh, you do notice uh, several belts, though, that are encrusted with uh, uh, rubies and sapphires. Um, and you also, as you, as you're searching around and, you know, digging through, um, these drawers, you just start to hear a creak. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to grab a belt that looks like it'll, uh, is not huge on me and put it on. Okay. Um, so the belt wraps around you twice. Of course. But you can, you can turn it into a knot so that the, uh, tip of the belt is pointed downwards and you can, you can wear it. Like the and, cool kids in middle school. Exactly. All right. Um, and you, this belt, every, uh, there is a sapphire and then a ruby and then a sapphire and a ruby that are encrusted all the way around. Sweet. Uh, I like that. All right. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to 
Do, did I catch a direction that the creek was coming from? Or uh, yeah, it was, it? it was coming from behind you against the wall. All right, I'm going to unsheath one of my daggers. Okay. Actually, both of my daggers and just hold on to them and start kind of work my way towards the wall and see if I can make out where this noise is coming from. Okay, roll me another perception. Not a one. Here we go. That is a 10. Okay. So four, 14 total. So you uh, start to walk around the table in this room and you're walking around against the back wall. And as you pass between the table and the statue of armor, uh, or the, the, the knighted armor, um, you walk past that and out of the corner of your eye, you see the knight's um, helmet just start to shift and look at you and follow you around the room. <laughs> I'm just trying to... And, uh, it, and you see it up and down and it's... it's. It, if, have you turned around? Or are you just doing that? Uh, no, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm okay. watching it. And I'm just like eyeballing it. It's it's kind of eyeballing you. Uh, and looking back at you. Are we, are we going to be friends? You and I? And you see its arms raise up and... <laughs> Do you, uh, you, you got a mouth there, boss, or you just, uh, just hands? Oh, all right. All right. All right. That was Australian. All right. Uh, do, do you, do you, do you leave, live in this room? Yeah. Huh. Well, it's got a lot of, got a lot of cool stuff in here, I guess. That's, that's kind of fun. You, oh, you, you help people put on the, on the clothes? No. Oh, you 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 chop stuff, your protection, your your, your big strong protection. You look you look pretty big and strong. Uh, I'm I'm here with a couple friends, and uh, we just kind of wander around this place and uh, see what we get up to. You, when when was the last time you uh you, uh you you saw your 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 master walking around here? Oh no. So it's been a while, huh? Oh, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. He seemed he seemed like a nice guy. He, he have a, he have a little like a daughter too, like a little young one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, she, is she still around? Or did something happen to her? No, she's she's not around anymore. All right, huh? You uh, you, you mind if I uh, if I get get a, one of my buddies to come in here and talk to you as well? I mean, it, it seems like you haven't had anyone here for a while. How about we uh, we make some friends? All right. All right, you, you hang on one second. I'll be right back. And then he's going to go out and try to get Brother Cornelius, who he knows is kind of still out there, and bring him into the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, Brother Blitz. What's, what's... You always have a, a fine eye for for donations to the church. What would you find yeah. in the room? What's yeah, in the yeah. room? I mean, you like this belt I'm wearing? It's pretty pretty nice, right? It's a pretty belt. Time yeah. would love that belt. I think that there's one in the room too. Here, come here. I'll sh- I'll show you this other belt in the room you can have. Of course, brother Cornelius follows him in. And Sounds then, great. then, uh, oh hey, hey brother, um, real quick before there's some nice belts over there. Before that, I want you to meet a meet a friend of mine. Uh, a friend, a friend of yours. Yeah, this is uh, this is uh, Captain Shiny Chest over here. That, that's not your name. Okay. Uh, well, this is my my big metal friend. He uh, doesn't doesn't talk a lot, but uh, yeah, I don't know what you might think of this guy. Uh, Brother Cornelius calls out for Fancy Boy to swing by. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you're, 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 Fancy, check you're... check this out. We have something that is right up your alley, the alley of a hero. Um, <laughs> well, Fancy Boy's in a whole other room, right? That's... Yeah. Fancy, all you, out. fancy boy, all you can hear, you can't hear anything that Brother Cornelius said except for fancy. No, and then I'm just like, my little crest goes up like, and it's like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> like just runs to the room like, <laughs> like a friend is calling me. And oh, and fancy boy, you see Blitz and Brother Cornelius in front of this uh, suit of armor that is has its hands on its face or on its helm i should say as, oh. as fancy boy enters brother cornelius uh positions himself uh behind fancy and blitz uh, so, and armor uh fa- fancy boy so uh this is this is my friend here uh uh shiny pants mcgee uh 
Like, yeah. And no, no. Okay. I, I'm not sure what his name is, but he doesn't, doesn't say a lot, but we can ask him questions and he seems to be pretty friendly. But Sounds he's a like, construct, right? I, I mean, he seems like a suit of armor to me, but. Mm. Can I like see if he's like hollow? Can I knock on him? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to knock on him and see if, see if there's anything inside. Oh. Is it, well, don't look offended. Are you hollow? Okay. Uh, and, and as, as you knock on him, it just echoes. Yeah. All right. Can you leave this room? Okay. Well, you're coming with us now, and your name is not Fancy Pants McGee. Someone else name him. What's your name? Write it, write it, and I'll hand him, like, a quill and parchment. Like, write your name. Um, and he takes the quill, and he go, he brings it down. And as he puts it on, yeah, it's, <laughs> um, it, the quill snaps. Oh no, my pen. <laughs> uh, were you a um, human before you were in this suit of armor? Is it? Yes or no? You don't know. Okay. Yes, you were. Okay. So you might just be trapped here. We might have to save you. Hmm. Cause we're heroes. <laughs> Perhaps it's. <laughs> Perhaps he might know the way to this uh, treasure we see, or scepter. Hmm. Staff. And Blitz is just thinking of names. Oh. I'll, how about how about Quill? Can I call you Quill? Well, that's a good name. All right, Quill. Quill it is. Quill the armor man. Frank and Bob enter the room. Like, yeah, what, what the hell? Is, what's what's happening? What's happening? They're both eating rotten pears. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh, anyone, want, anyone want some food? Anyone hungry? But what's going on? What's what's happening? Well, let's all go look at the big tree room. But the, this our suit of armor is following us now. He looks like he hits hard, so and now he's Wait, our friend. What? Suit? What? All this right. Is, yeah. Okay. I accept that. Sure. sure. Why? Why not? This is, this is our friend. Don't mess with him. Sure. Why Quill. not? This is Quill, the armor man. Hey, Quill. Word of advice: Don't try to wake a sleeping pig. Just, just get Pigs getting on the. Can't bite metal oh. hands. That pig's not uh, a fiend. You haven't seen my pig bite. Not enough. Anyway. Cornelius readies his crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then uh, I think I think Blitz is going to do one more kind of look around the room, mm -hmm. see if uh, look for anything kind of expensive or anything that could maybe fit himself or maybe Brother Cornelius as well. Right, Brother uh, Cornelius definitely uh, looks around for one of those fancy jewel encrusted belts. Um, Brother Cornelius, roll me a perception check. And uh, Blitz, I'll give you another perception check, too. All right. That Frank, is a 14 total. Yep. Uh, nine. Is um, there anything that would fit Bob? That would fit Bob? Um, hey, put a rubber hand <laughs> crossbow bolt. Yeah. <laughs> Mike. Um, give him a stink eye. Blitz, you find um, an, a bracelet that is the same color and in, uh, covered in the same gems as your belt. Ah. It's, it's almost like the matching set. Nice. Um, mm. Brother Cornelius, you don't find anything. Uh, and um, Frank, roll me a perception check, which will be uh, the D20 plus your wisdom modifier. Oh, ho. all right. So 20. 20. You find yep. a robe. Um, name a color. Uh, let's go red. You find a red robe that is large enough that you could slip Fran uh, Bob's feet and legs through it, and it will then cover him as if he's wearing a regal cape. Oh, God. <laughs> Bob and starts dancing around going... <laughs> this, uh, this robe is a beautiful, beautiful deep red, but around the collar is a fur, a white fur shawl. Oh, you look so fancy. You look like a king. King Bob. Frank starts like bowing to him jokingly. Oh, it looks so good. What a I'm legend. the fanciest. No, nah, sorry. The pig's got it. The pig's got it. Fancy chicken. Can I, can I look fancy. around for something that might fit fancy boy? <clears throat> Actually, fancy uh, Bob. A, 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 a Quill. Quill. Quill the armor man. Uh, you, you know anything that might fit my, uh, my, bird, my bird friend here? Mm, and he points to a drawer 
on the um, left side of the center table all the way at the bottom. All right, let's open it up. Um, and as as he opens it up, uh, as you open it up, Blitz, it's a medallion that is on a golden chain, and the medallion is a cross. Um, it looks it looks much like um, the serpent and lion that you've seen on the crests, but the cross has a point on the bottom and it's stabbing uh, the serpent instead of a lion crushing a serpent. And this is a necklace? Mm -hmm. A uh, a uh, fancy boy. I think uh, Quill wants you to have this. No, weird! And I'll like, pick it up and look at it. Um, does it seem magical or just pretty? Um, it does seem a little magical. Oh, interesting. Um, well, I'll put that... I'm not going to put it on yet, but I'll keep it with the pair so that I can take an hour or two later when we rest to look at them. Okay. Uh, thank you, friend. I'm glad that we're friends. And he'll just, like, hug you. <laughs> Pig still fancy up. <clears throat> uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go All check right. out that tree? It's got good pairs. So, uh, Quill, are you going to come with us? It could be exciting. If anything, you might see a you watch a pig wearing a fancy robe walk around. <laughs> King, King Bob told you that's an order. King Bob. <laughs> and you can just see, you can feel d the disdain coming off of this suit of armor, this animated <sighs> suit of armor at you, Frank. Tell you what, you come with this or I hit you in the face. And it's just that the helm is just staring at you. All right. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he thinks about it. No, no one's picking your ass no. off if you knock, <laughs> knock down our friend. Wait, are, He's learning. Are Frank's you, learning. Are, are you eating the pears from the tree? Yeah. I'm still eating it. I walked in the room with it. This is the best. <laughs> okay. Where I was. <laughs> That, okay. that, that, that's probably a good sign this is, this is amazing anyways um okay so um so, uh, uh, uh quill looks upright again and he's not paying attention to frank and or bob so uh you guys want to show us that other room you always looking at yeah fancy boy will lead you to the tree he's like oh, i know the tree it's this way <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fancy Boy, you lead the charge out. Blitz mm -hmm. and, and Frank, you follow him. You hear the clanking of the armor. There is uh, coming from behind you as Quill follows you out the door. Um, you're, he seems you, kind of awkward. Yeah, he's just bumbling around. Like <laughs> This isn't his normal um, way of, uh, you know, his normal agenda. But um, Brother Cornelius, as they're, everybody's walking forward... Quill kind of pulls you back a little and he outstretches his hand and gives you a ring. Ooh. <laughs> more blesses you. Haunted Ooh. armor fellow. Um, and Can I exact what does the ring look like? It's um it's a sapphire ring and you see uh this that crest on, on the middle of it. Uh, with the, with the lion crushing the serpent inside that's been cut into the sapphire. Can I put the ring on? Sure. Brother Cornelius pockets the ring rather okay. than puts it on. Okay. And then everybody continues to walk towards the um, the room, and you just hear Quill clanking behind you, and you can hear his footsteps echoing through through the gallery. And you make it back into the room, and uh, Brother Cornelius and Blitz, uh, you now see what Fancy Boy and um, Frank had saw previously. A, a giant, a, a bedroom, a suite, um, but in, in the center of it is a giant tree that's whose limbs span the entire ceiling. That's a big damn tree. Yep. And you see rotten pears all over the tree. Wait, is that? Are you eating one of them? Yeah. I'm I told hungry. him not to, for the record. Brother Cornelius does not prepare a healing spell. <laughs> it's all good, man. Iron stomach. I can get you one. 
Is there anything else in this room besides the tree? Um, all you see, uh, I'm, roll me a perception check. Alrighty. That's not bad. 14. Okay, so you see... Oh, sorry, 15. 15. 15. You um, notice on the desks there are a lot of different jars of herbs mm. um, and several different um, jars of dust. Oh, okay. But what you also notice on top or on the headboard of the bed, you see the name. It's almost inscribed um, over an arch on the headboard, and it says Glendala, Glendala Myth Tendir. Okay. I say it out loud immediately. Glendala Myth Tendir! It says it right there! And <laughs> as, as you say that, the, the leaves, the, the rotted leaves on the <gasps> tree start to just kind of almost flutter like there's a little breeze. Ooh. I say it a hundred more times and louder. <laughs> <laughs> and they just, keep, they just keep breezing a little. Like, I'm mad that they aren't doing anything but fluttering. I'm like, nah! <laughs> So I'm just stomping around doing that while what everyone else is yeah. doing. As usual, uh, Blitz wants to know if there's anything of value in the room. Um, you, uh, Blitz, roll me a perception. Ooh, it's a six total. So you don't see anything valuable. You think that um, that this person cared more about nature than physical jewels or items. Sucker. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So he's going to wander about the room. Kind of like he's going to wander to the base of the tree, see if there's anything on the tree. Um, you ju you don't see anything out of the ordinary. It looks like just a, a the the roots of the tree that would that kind of meld into the floor. Hey metal man, is there anything interesting in this room? I say this guy ain't no help. You that start thinking about hitting him again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm quite fond of this metal guy. I think he has been of tremendous help. I, Absolutely useless. And he, why do we? Just sorry, Kato. <clears throat> He's telling you to stop. High fives him. <laughs> well, I'm too stupid to work this out. So you guys, you got it. So okay. outside in the gallery, are there any mm -hmm. stairs or any other places that we can go that we yeah. haven't seen? If if you look out of the gallery, you are now on the northern side of the gallery. If you're in the doorway, up to the left, you see a stairwell that goes down. And then all the way across on the southern side of the gallery, you see two more doors. And where are the doors that we came out of from before? Uh, the doors are now on your right side were the two so doors on... that you went through and the the spire the tower spire you came down is between the two doors on your right side and the two doors on the south wall okay so the two doors we came out of were like the west wall and mm -hmm. then okay so and the east wall is a spiraling grand staircase that goes downwards all right uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna go check those other doors we haven't we haven't looked in yet okay i'm gonna head down to the south okay what's everybody else doing while blitz heads down are you going Brother with him? Cornelius follows yeah. Blitz as well. Yeah, we'll all follow as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, so do you want to open the first door on the wall or the one closest to the east side? I should, uh, I should say the one on the west side or the one on the east side of the of the. Gallery. Let's go ahead and uh, when in doubt, go left. So we'll look at the one on the east side. Okay, so you open the door and this is looks as though it was a nurse it could have been a nursery you see small little cradles about six of them that line uh three that line each side of of uh, the chamber another creepy baby room yeah watch watch out for more baby skeletons don't smash anything in here all right eh. <laughs> we'll see what happens i'm not helping you next time yeah if nick's coming out of them anyway. then them dolls again I'm, I'm not helping you I don't remember needing help. It's all good. All right. Uh, Blitz looks around for uh, any sort of valuables. <laughs> just in case those little babies were just dripping in jewels. Maybe, maybe they put diamonds on their eyes. Who okay, knows? Okay, roll me some perception. He's I always love looking now. That's uh, going to be a 18 total. 18? Okay, yeah. so you um, 
start to look through these cradles that are in here and you notice as you pick up the pillows and look underneath, you just feel the fabric disintegrate in your hands and mm. just c crumble into little pieces. Uh, you don't find anything that um, you would want to take home and sell. Yeah, nothing in here, just baby dust. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out the other room. Okay. How are you entering this room? Frank um, kicks the door down. Boom! Frank kicks the door know. down. Um, Beat you to it. And Frank, you charge in with yes. on your noble steed, who is now nobly clothed. <laughs> um, and what you come to find is this looks like a guest quarters. Um, <coughs> you see another bed. You see uh, <coughs> some. Uh, like a, some more nightstands, you see tables, you see um, a uh, closet for to, to hang clothing in, um, but nothing seems too out of the ordinary to you. All right, this one's empty. Nothing cool to hit. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Sounds good, but meanwhile, he kind of... Give us the room a once over. See if there's anything shiny in there. Okay, roll me a perception. There's nothing cool. Fancy voice is being vigilant, just like heroes, we're heroes, we go, uh, whatever. Thirteen. You um uh blitz, you see as you're kind of ducking around Bob, and as you can see you see through um his legs underneath the bed, you can see a glistening, like almost like a sparkle. All right, I think he's gonna wait till the other, uh, the other everybody else kind of starts walking away before he does anything. <laughs> okay, Brother Cornelius, it. always mindful of where Blitz is, <laughs> peers from out the outside the hallway into the room. Okay, so you you see Blitz like kind of like on the ground, like scoping things out. Uh, uh, Brother Cornelius. Hmm. Brother Cornelius waits to see how this turns out. Usually uh, for the worst. Fancy boy, like Quill this. is out outside, just kind of like leaning his uh, elbow on your shoulder. Yeah, I'll I'll just try and like ask him, like, do you know what direction this like staff scepter thing is? Like, you point. Like, up. down. Yeah, so if we go keep going this way. We'll find them. Why, why are you just exasperated about this? I, what's it? Are we making a mistake? Okay. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Damn. I didn't He'll know just there was stick a... his head in the room, like, clearly looking at all his party members, just looting things or whatever they're doing, and just be like, <laughs> oh, the, the metal man knows where it is. We're going to follow him down. We should let him lead us. And right. uh, don't steal people's things. And he, like, peeks his head back out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Go ahead. Uh, Brother Cornelius follows, follows Fancy Boy as we follow the Tin Man. Okay. So you have everybody. Follow. Oh. Follow along. Nothing. <laughs> in All right. Uh, as soon as everyone's back's turned, he scuttle. Uh, Blitz is going to scuttle under the bed and grab whatever that shiny thing is. When you uh, put your hand underneath the bed, you can feel the point. A tip. Um, it almost feels like a tip of an arrow. Like it's like someone poking me or I just happen to reach and like poke it. it. It's not poking you back, but you just can feel this metal pointed tip. All right. I'm going to reach in and try to grab it, whatever this tip thing is, try to find a softer side of it and pull it out. Okay. Um, you actually do pull it out and it is an arrow, but the tip of the arrow is not of a standard metal. Hmm. Is it making any noise, or does it feel special? I mean, do I sense anything coming off this? Um, you, you it does. It's not making any noise, but you you definitely think this is valuable. Hmm. All right, and he's gonna put it into his uh his quill, right? Mm -hmm. Sheath. What do you call it? Quiver. Quiver. There it is. Quiver. Yeah. All right. Then he's gonna follow. I mean, is that the was that was the only thing under the bed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then he's gonna follow out and follow the group. 
Okay. So um, Quill leads you down to the main floor, and you can see the balcony or in the gallery where you just were. If you look up, now as you as you come down the eastern wall, down these steps, you see um, there are four different ways you can can go. You see um, the the door, the giant archway that would have been the entrance into this castle is on the southern wall. Now, um, to the on the northern wall, you see two doors that are open and almost are um, that that you can clearly easily go through. On the western wall, across from you, you see another door, another closed door. And on the eastern wall where you are, you can see into what would be a feast hall. I know where Frank is going. <laughs> roll me, a, and if anybody, you guys can roll me perceptions if you want to. Yeah, I'm going to do that for sure. Yeah, I'm just confused at all times. 14. So what? So is perception just whatever you roll, or is it, it a? It's going to be your d20 plus your wisdom modifier. Okay, so 16. 16. Um, yeah, okay. so I rolled a one. <laughs> uh, so, uh, fancy boy, you can just hear the clanking of Quill as he walks yeah. right next to you. Um, uh, Frank and Brother Cornelius, you can hear almost a scratching or a pounding on the um the door the archway that would have been the entrance to this castle um and blitz you notice on the northern wall which has the two open doors that are not the feast room you notice that um it almost looks as though that would lead into uh the throne room Hey uh, guys, I think the uh, throne room might be that ways. If that's what we're going for. Hey, hey, metal man, is that the right way to go? Where should we be going? Oh, I you think are it's the right way. He said down, oh, so we're going God. the right way, I guess. And your well, pig is dressed help. as the king, so let your pig in first. Let him get on the throne. <laughs> He's clear. He wants to be true. a hero. The bird is wise. Look, fancy chicken, you're the hero, right? You go first, all no, right? No, no, I'm not the one on the fancy robe like Mr. Pig over here. Protect your king, all right? That's what heroes do, protect your king. Now, he's not, he's, a, he thinks he's a king. Whatever, coward. Let's go, Bob. <laughs> I can't believe you call me a coward. Coward, absolutely. Well, you wouldn't go first. <laughs> anyway, whatever, Bob. I'm not stupid. Yeah. So Frank and Bob just walked to the throne room. What looks to be the throne room. <laughs> okay. What is everybody else doing as as you I see mean, Frank and Bob charging? I'm following, ready to be our hero, but not ready to be dead. <laughs> Stay back, you cow. I don't even need you. Stay back. If you're gonna be cowards. <laughs> Bob agrees. Yeah, he's uh, Blitz is gonna be watching uh Frank and Bob. Not really at this point, not really caring what kind of mischief they get into. Okay. He's sort of fed up with uh the two of them. He sa saved them enough times and this like all right. He basically, they're trap detectors at this point for him. <laughs> um, and uh, Brother Cornelius, are you following the group? Uh, Brother Cornelius will continue his uh, record of following, but keeping a safe distance from the pig by at least having two people in between him and the pig. Okay. And and Quill like soccer. Quill follows next to you. He's kind of wrapping his arm around you. You know, like, like as you go along and walk. And you just hear his the clanking of his his plated um, gr uh, uh, boots. So, uh, Frank, as you get into the throne room, you see two chairs at the end of this forty foot um, expanse. Um, the ceiling is vaulted up to about uh, sixty feet high, and hanging from the sides of the walls are the red and black are red and black tapestries with that same image of the lion crushing the serpent but this but the tapestries have been decaying and are crumbling and are tattered 
Well, Fra Frank and Bob literally don't care about like checking the room for anything. They immediately run up to the chairs, mm -hmm. and and he sits Bob up and goes, "King Bob," and then he sits next to him. So I'm your queen. <laughs> <laughs> They don't even bother checking the room. So, uh, what is everybody else doing? Uh, Brother Cornelius uh, ex uh, investigates the rest of the room to see what else might be there. See, there was nothing to be scared of, you cowards. Okay. Ah, yeah, it's I'm, good. I'm looking for ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys can roll me perceptions. Blitz, what are you up to? Just walking behind everyone, just like just waiting for a chair to open up and drop into a pit or some yeah. spike to land on someone's lap, just something. Nineteen. But, uh, but he's wow. he's you know uh, always looking around the room for anything he can pocket. So I got a ten. Okay, um, fancy boy, you see um, coming up to where the 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 uh, essentially where the king and queen would have sat in this throne room, mm. you see several tables. Um, which would have been used for dining, uh, um, among other things. Uh, you don't see much on them. You see some plateware, but it's very scarce and scattered. But you see carvings um, all along, just intricate, intricate carvings. So you could you kind of tell that this uh, kingdom definitely was uh, uh, prosperous before before all this this. Uh, befell um, Interesting. the king um brother cornelius you make your way around this throne room and you come up to bob and he's sitting in the chair upright but but into in the chair hooves facing out towards you decked in robe in his regal robe and above him on the arch of the top of the chair you can read a, it what looks like a name and it says Aeric kith tendir and kith it's and dear yeah it's spelt a y i r i c k i t h t a n d e r e I was not even close. <laughs> and um, Fancy Boy, you remember that the name on the bed from upstairs was the Glendala yes. is G L E N D A L A. Myth M I T H T A N D E R E. Okay. Glendala Mifted. I say it again in this room. Mm -hmm. No, Dang. nothing. Nothing flutters. Damn it. <laughs> Perhaps if you say the this name, Eric Kiftandera. Say it right. Yeah, the, the Eric. Oh, yeah. Say that a hundred times. Eric Kiftandera. Flap, flap, flap. You see Bob get launched off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. What? what? Do it again. Uh. Klaatu Barada Nikto. <laughs> Nick Hong Kong. Yeah. I am so confused right now. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'll look at that. Can I take some time to look at that pair again? Yeah. Wait, how high did the pig fly? This is there's some details we are. Uh the pig the pig flew over Blitz's head. And landed so, up so right like, behind him. Huh? So like two foot off the ground. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't too too rough. Maybe give him three feet, right? Okay, three feet. Yeah. I mean, I'm only 3-1, but I'm pretty big for a gnome, so like I'm a giant gnome. Like gnome hate going on. Well, it's, part, it's, it's my backstory. I resent them. Um, so, um, Fancy Boy, you as, as this is happening, you take about a half an hour while everybody is kind of uh, walking around the room trying to find things. Uh, the pig is getting launched. Um, <laughs> They're you know, just doing it over out and of the over chair. again. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can tell one part of this um, will, if you use its command word, and it will light, turn on and light up. Oh, cool! But you still, you do notice there, there. What you can see is you haven't figured it all out yet, and yeah, if so you this study, is obviously it, important. Yeah, if you study it more, there's there's um, other things you can do with it. 
Right. Do I see any other like motifs of like trees or pears or anything around here? Like maybe that would indicate that that tree was some sort of like life sustaining thing. You in this see place? Um, the chair that did not launch Bob. Right. Is um, has been carved into a tree. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. But still the same size as the other um, the other chair itself. Got it. Um, but sorry, it has been carved into the shape of a tree. Uh, it, it, there's a relief of a tree on on the chair. Okay. Can I a suit of armor, sir? Can you sit in the chair, the big chair, for me? You're not okay. Do you know who belongs in that chair? Me. I'm still sitting in it. Not him. Not me. <laughs> I say the word again. <laughs> Does he get launched? Now my chair was fine. I, I think he, not. he wants the king. I think the king goes yeah, there. Well, wait, where is the king? Down more? Or the, the, king the hells? Is the king in the hells? Was he a bad person? The hells. <laughs> he's oh, dead. He's, asleep? he's sleeping. He's dead. He, oh, he's dead. He's oh, dead. no. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> where is the, where is the queen? Can I? Oh, she's dead too. Can I take the the pear and put it on the on the chair with the tree? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put it on that chair and be like, there you go. And a, as you put it on the chair, it, it starts to just gently glow <clears throat> bright. Oh. Guys, this place is weird. <laughs> Yep. I'll pick it back up and just like shake it like a broken light bulb. Like, take a pick, take a pick, take a Um, and, and no, nothing happens. Uh, so you put the pear in the pig's mouth, not Brother Cornelius, and then put the pig on the throne. Yeah, I've got another idea. How about we put my mace in your mouth and see what happens? <laughs> I don't know. So that, maybe that'll unlock all the secrets. Just an idea. Bring it, Shorty. No. Nah. <laughs> You're lucky I want to solve... I want to get this scepter so I can become the giant I'm meant to be. You're lucky. Mm, I'll take out the amulet and put it on. Okay. <clears throat> um, as you take the put the amulet on, um, you can kind of feel a pull from it, but it's pulling you back... It's pulling backwards. Oh. Um, can I just go where it wants me to go? Um, you can try. Where does it want me to go? I'm like if, trying to talk to it, like what's happening? Um, you you just see the point of the, of the dagger, uh -huh. just um kind of lift and uh, it, but it lifts backwards through you, so it's pointing out the front door. Oh, or so the, it's like a the, compass. The, yeah, the doors you came in on. Oh, this thing's like a compass. I get before I get really excited. It's gonna tell us where to go. Um, that works for me. Where's it saying to go? Observes what happens with the amulet and pulls out the ring to see if there's any type of reaction there as well. Um, it you you can you can feel a little nudge, but it doesn't. Um, fancy boy, it doesn't move much, but it All does right. it does nudge a little towards the ring. Uh. Uh, all right. Well, let's just see where this goes, and I'll follow the little, the little dagger. Okay. So as as you walk out of the throne room, the dagger just points straight down. Damn, damn it! Did we just have to dig? Ah. I'll just like start clawing at the ground. Like I guess I have to dig. And so you're digging and dig. You're you're clawing and clawing, and you get through the rug, the 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 tattered mm. rug, and it's just cement. Ah! I, like I can't believe this chicken's the smartest one here. <laughs> there, are, <laughs> there are other, there are other doors we haven't explored yet. Not hey, uh, hey, hey, Quill, Quill, is there is there a way to get basically underneath where we're standing right now? Is there like a stairwell or something? Mm -mm. Everyone, start it, lifting up rugs, and I just start lifting up every rug I can find. <laughs> Frank and Bob just go kick down one of the other doors. And you you, you see him, uh, you see Quill kind of just scratching his head thinking. And he hasn't um, figured, he, it, almost like he's like, mm, can't really remember. Been a while, huh? All right. And so 
that's it's all right we we gotta find you king we gotta find you king and so uh blitz goes out and starts looking through the other doors down down this area okay so when as you um uh as now now how you're orientated you can see the south wall which would be the giant archway that would have been the door into the castle um or that is the door that you would have walked through into the castle then there is the door to the left on the eastern wall which leads into a feast hall and then there was a closed door on the right all right i'm gonna go to that closed door okay um you uh, how are you gonna open this door uh is is quill with me yes he, he's, he's right behind you all right then he's gonna be pretty brazen with it just kind of open it yeah and as you open the door uh it starts to creak open as though the hinges have been ju- uh, rusting for the better part of these past 50 years. And when you open the door, you see a giant expansive library. Mm. And it is, this is a, a 40 foot room by 60 feet long. And as you l- walk in, you see thousands and thousands of books that span the floor to the ceiling and you notice there are three ladders um that you can use to that are the wall ladders that move along the bookshelves and you also see a giant statue um it looks very regal upright and there is a sword in uh in front of it that its hands are gripping and pointed into the floor and you start uh quill kind of pushes you out of the way he's like so he's dancing is there uh you, you recognize this room is there a book we need to uh to find but yeah we got to find a book maybe find a like a, maybe a switch or a button or a like is there a, a secret like a secret room that'll take okay all right <laughs> hey uh hey everybody i think i found something and blitz calls out there's a uh, there's a secret switch or lever or something in here that we got to find in this library. I know uh, Frank, you've probably never been in a library before. That's where you store books. But uh, the book? yeah. Yeah, exactly. All Fancy right. Fancy Boy runs in with like five rugs in like each. <laughs> like I pick the rugs off. <laughs> so uh, maybe maybe look uh, look for uh, maybe something you can pull. Maybe uh, hey uh, Quill, was it like is it a book that we have to pull like? Uh, or is it like an actual like lever? Do you remember? All right, I'll he's just, just he's I'll just doing this. this. Looks like he is. Oh, the ladders! The ladders! The ladders! The ladders. Uh, uh, Fancy boy no. will walk up to the ladder and be like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, "You don't." See, so there there are three ladders around the room, um, with thousands and thousands of books. Uh, you don't, when you just shake the ladder, it doesn't do anything. I just, ah, I'll kick it. And uh, the, you know, the ladder goes gliding all the way down to the left and slams into the other ladder, the first ladder. You know, you're supposed to climb ladders, right? Like, that's what they're for. <laughs> Can I push the ladders together, like, and make them like a ladder sandwich you you have now pushed these ladders together and they are a ladder sandwich <laughs> and then i can i say the two words again which words <laughs> the gladara mithradir um and when you say those they blow away from each other ah! <laughs> uh, i'm just gonna start preening myself <laughs> do all the, all the- oh, sorry keep going uh, do all the books in here look like they're more like uh, like encyclopedias or like what kind of books are these? Roll me a perception check. You got it. That is a nine total. Um, when you look at these books, they look historical. But what you have noticed is that they are alphabetical from right uh, from left to right. The A's start all the way on the left, and it goes all the way. Th- they're all alphabetical. They're not done by um, category all the way to the right, all the way to Z at the end. Hey, can hey, we tell uh, what the books are about? Uh, you, If you want to pull one out, you can. But you can make me a dexterity check while you do so. Hey, uh, guys, I think all these books, uh, they're, they're, I noticed they're all alphabetical. So maybe if we see someone, see one of these that ain't in the right spot, 
that might be uh, something important. Just saying. What's an alphabet? <sighs> Brother uh, Cornelius pulls one of the books. Are there any kids' books around that uh, <laughs> that Blitz can pull out and hand over to? Uh, <laughs> put a lot of pictures in it. Yeah. Frank and Bob just start ripping books uh, off the oh shelves. No. Just, Fancy Boy's like just trying to damage control Frank and Bob. Like, no, not the tomes. <laughs> this is what you told me to do. Uh, uh, Brother Cornelius, as you see um, Frank just kind of throwing books, uh, you gently pick one out. Roll me a dex check. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> So you pull this, you pull a book out and it is the, it starts with the letter A and it's a, um, the annotated history of Tendir. And as you start to pull it out, it crumbles. Um, it, it, it's almost, the, the pages are almost liquid. Um, they've been decaying and rotting um, for, for so long and that, that they just crumble to the ground. Uh, um okay is but it, it looked like a history book hmm C can uh brother cornelius takes a look around the statue to see if there are any uh any evidence of of uh some type of action or movement around there um there's no action or movement around the statue but you do notice the same um crest of the king uh, on it, the uh, lion crushing the serpent. Perhaps if we say the king's name, something might happen. Fancy boy, hero. What was it again? I'm sorry. Ooh, it was a Eric Kith. A Eric? A Eric Kith ten, Tindar. Tindir, okay. Tindar. You just said it, but I'll say it louder. <laughs> and it, as, as, as Fancy boy says it louder, the ladder start to sway back and forth uh quill is that supposed to happen uh, i i think you're onto something there fancy boy okay i'll say it again and they, they <laughs> what keep... if you say the king and queen's name what if we say it at the same time and so let's say it at the same time say it with me okay mecca lecca hi mecca <laughs> hiney ho i'm <laughs> oh, sorry are we saying the names? Are we doing this? Yeah, I said, I'm saying the, the king's name, the heir, Kith, Kith And someone else at the same time says the queen's name. Yes. Gl Glendala Myth, is that her name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Myth Rendir. So Glen as you do this, um, you see it, with such power um, using both of those names, the leftmost, um, the leftmost ladder... You, once once Blitz says Glendala, it slams against the far left wall where the A's, the section of A's are, and it, you hear it click into place. Oh! And you you hear you see the statue. Um, its sword moves to the left and is out of out of the front view of the statue. You guys, uh, y'all see that statue just move? Frank just looks stunned, like, what? <laughs> so, wait, okay, so we said, we said their names at the same time. What if we said the real king's name? If it clicks, if it clicked in place, maybe we should climb up the ladder and see if there's any books Jeez. at the top that are like magic. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna look at the uh, I'm gonna look at the statue and see what the difference is now. See if maybe there's something released on the statue. Um, there's uh, Blitz. You don't see anything on the statue other than that it has moved into a more um, non-aggressive uh, posture, almost a more welcoming posture. Uh, Fancy Boy, as you climb up the ladder, you notice that every book underneath the ladder all the way from the bottom to the top starts with A. Okay. But there's nothing magical. All right. I think Blitz is going to walk over, grab the far, most, far rightmost ladder and mm -hmm. push it all the way to the right wall. Because the left one clicked on the left wall, right? Yep. Um, you push it all the way to the right wall and nothing happens. Hmm. And on the right wall is all the Z's, all mm -hmm. the Z's. All the Z's. 
All right. Should we well, spell then. the name or something? Well, it's such a long name. <laughs> King or queen's name, or maybe we just use their. Well, the queen's name works, but the... Tandir. Tandir. Yeah, but this this one's on an A. I was always mm. bad in spelling class. <laughs> what? I don't even know what a spelling class is. Oh no, Fra Frank and Frank and Fancy Boy are now on the same page. They're like, oh no! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're equals. Uh, Frank just has a headache and he's just like, ah. Uh, uh. uh, hey, Quill, uh, Quill, you got any uh, any advice for us here? Seems like we got we're on our way to something. Move it back and forth. Got it. All right. And so, uh, Blitz is gonna grab the middle one. Basically, walk it to one side, then walk it to the other side, and kind of back and forth, and see if maybe it catches on something. Sure. So as as you rotate, um, or as you move the middle one more towards the Z's, um, it you hear once you get to the section where the M's are, it kind of skips a beat and then moves over. It just kind of jumps. I, it jumps and like, um, hey, uh, you guys, come come here real quick. Move this ladder back and forth over this uh, this section here, and tell me tell me what it feels like to you. I can do that. I do it. I suppose. <laughs> and Frank, as you're moving it back across, <laughs> as you're moving it back across the the entire M section, it in 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 one position, it kind of just hops a little. Guys, I figured it out. It's it's this. It it's this M section. The ladder. It does this thing. This is my idea. I came up with it. When you say it hops, do you mean like it's like it's like the track it's on feels like there's a bump in it, or there's a bump on the ground or something? Bump, bump on the ground. Okay, so uh, Blitz is going to investigate the bump on the ground to see what may be uh, making it hop. You can see two slots where the wheels would go. Ah. All right, so he's going to put the ladder right on those slots, mm -hmm. and then kind of jump on the ladder to see if he can kind of like lock it in place somehow. Okay, as you jump on the ladder. You see this. You hear a click, and you see the statue now. Its left arm moves uh, down and points to the right, almost in a wel another welcoming position. You guys, I think I found figured something out. Then he's gonna oh, run to. Boy. He's gonna run to the Thank last God. ladder and move it and see if he can find another little point for it. Thank God. Um, and, and as you're. You're rolling it across um, the the floor. It bumps a couple times, but um, you notice that it, it it's it stops hardest at the T. The T. A M T. All right, and then he puts it on the T, and then gets on it and tries to see if I can catch it in place. And then the Zelda theme song or the the, the music no. comes on. <laughs> And you now see the statue slides backwards against the wall uh, towards the A section, and its hand is now pointing down a flight of stairs uh, in the wall. Yay! Look how smart you are! Yeah. Yeah, he's not that smart. I could have figured that out. I just can't spell. Immediately, Blitz starts looking for shields to throw Frank onto. <laughs> <laughs> Still is holding on to his his shield, and hands it over to. to honestly, look, look honestly, what we have. What we have. Honestly, Blitz, that's the best idea you've ever come up with. Let's go again. <laughs> Sounds good, moron. I I mean, no... uh, Frank. <laughs> honestly, outside of the spider, it was a good time. Come with me, Bob. Let's do it. <sighs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Thank pushes you. Him, pushes him down the stairs. <laughs> So you put you literally push him down the stairs. Well, well I think you, the shield. Yeah, yeah. Shield. Cornelius gave me a shield. Okay. Uh, Frank so, and both together. Frank, you um get onto the shield and start to fly down the stairs, and this is not a winding staircase. This is a forty-five <laughs> degree angle drop <laughs> of stairs straight down. It it does not wind. It goes down to the basement. <laughs> And as you, um, as you come to the end, the shield itself itself you're at, you're at such a velocity that the shield 
point digs into the dirt ground and you go you and bob go flying off and you're now laying on the ground your hands in front of you kind of like you just uh, slid in the third or home plate and you're looking around and there are torches that are still lit but only a couple and their flames are flickering very lowly but you do see about four skeletons in front of you <clears throat> Ooh. and that's where one for the day oh wait <sighs> oh can i at least oh, grab no! my shield back yeah once you once you get down there the <laughs> make it to fight skeletons Again. Whoa, yeah, that's uh, that's an ending. Sorry, I just got my lunch. That was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is that fun. Was a good idea. That was a good way to get down the stairs. <laughs> I was shortcut. Tr- I was trying to figure out if or how you guys were going to figure out the ladder situation. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, so I, thought it was the, I thought it was the initials. For it is. Sure. It was the initials. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Was it? Anytime there's like a thing you have to actually figure out, I'm like, I think it was A M T. Mm hmm. But I thought it was Eric Kith Tandir. Oh, I fucked up. Yes, it was K. Okay. There we go. My say. bad. But your fault. I, I was looking at uh, the queen's name. So uh-huh. I screwed up. So yes, it was, it, was, it was. Uh, I was I was thinking it was like uh, one of the children had. It was a mix of names. Ah, that's a good idea. But clearly overthinking it. Yep. Totally it. Well, fun time. That's yeah. that's good. It's getting that interesting. Was very, very fun. You, we you, have ourselves an armor man. That's always good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that guy. Best not a fan. You're not a fan. Yeah. All he does is this. I, I'm a He's fan. Confused all the time. Well, if you were a piece of armor, what would you? What would you be? <laughs> confused all the time. Confused all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. I, I was. Uh, I was. I was excited to see what you would do with that that ar- suit of armor, because that could have gone a lot of different Every- ways. Everything's a pet. You just take everything with you. They, they, <laughs> everything's a pet. I really wanted to hit it, but then I was like, eh. It's got more potentials like doing dumb shit with this, sir. I'm also curious how, how hard it hits back. I mean, you yeah. probably... oh, no, I got 25 hit points now. It's all good. Damn. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. You could test it. <laughs> yeah. No. We'll wait for the right moment. He'll Don't piss me off someday. <laughs> nice. Oh well, man, Stone and Landon, you guys enjoying your D and D experience? This is awesome. I'm having first one. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah, I'm just trying like, to learn. And I'm just confused all the time, but I'm trying. Well, you're like your character. Oh, you're doing great. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, I think be... that's why I picked it. It works with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, never if you have a question about like, can I do this or can I can I do something like that? Never be afraid to ask. We'll we'll just figure it out and answer it for you. Yeah. Well, it's like it's like figuring how to, out how to think in the world of like um of like day and day and like how the mysteries work and how like um yeah how you solve things mm. like you can't just be like smash everything all the time although i try <laughs> but yeah, you yeah once, you, once, you re- once you realize that like eric's not trying to murder you at all times like oh yeah you're gonna have fun with it and you could probably figure out your way out of things like that's that's sort of the key of D. yeah i mean yeah i definitely want to spend more time just with the spell and cantrips uh for brother cornelius because i I don't feel like I really breached it, so I think that's something I'm trying to figure out. Nice. Yeah. Well, hey, I mean, you you did heal Frank after he, you know, had a viper in his mouth. To my yeah, later, to my that. later regrets. Yeah. To my I still, regrets. I still think I should have just eaten that thing immediately. Like, <laughs> you, you saved him. You're really yeah. devaluing my bite strength. I you saved him from going down, and then his pig knocked you down. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I don't. I don't feel like that's the appropriate thank you. Well, I mean, he didn't. He didn't heal. He he didn't heal Bob. So why does Bob care? Oh, this will all come around. If you oh. had it woken me up, I would have said, "Don't wake up, Bob." <laughs> That's what I would have. I would have given you that advice. That's your own fault. Be smarter. <laughs> Be smarter. Be smarter, and you won't die from uh, your Bob friend's is... pig. Bob will make a soon visit to the feast hall. <laughs> ah! You would do that to your king. Right. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh man oh. oh that was great fantastic so absolutely that's fun uh two weeks from now guys good uh you tell me when 
the 25th, I believe. Oh, I have another game on the 25th. I'm ah! sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm bad. Let me see. All right. Oh, I have oh. I have so many games, you guys. I want to make time for all of them. <laughs> uh, games all the time. So uh, March 4th? Yeah, the 4th. Is that the next one? March yeah, that should 4th. be. Yes, 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 yes. I think I'm okay on the 4th. That should be fun. As of right now. Yeah, I think I'll leave on the 5th. Okay, so I'm good on the 4th. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'll put it in my calendar. We will see everybody on the 4th of March. Yay! That was fun. It was, I enjoy playing with you guys. It's lots of fun. Yeah, that was okay. a blast. I'm sorry my character is such an idiot. <laughs> I think all the characters are awesome. They're all playing yeah. really That's fantastic. Thank exactly. you for carrying me through everything. <laughs> I'm pushing you through everything. I'm not carrying you. <laughs> yeah. As I just sit in every room confused, I'm just like, all right, I'll just wait for them to figure it out. I'll just be here eating stuff. <laughs> nice. nice. No, you just, just, just go in and try something. Say fuck it. Like break down a door. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Fine. What's also the thing is my character isn't smart enough to like check rooms. So I break down the door and go, yeah, it's fine. Let's leave. And then Blitz comes in. He gets that uh, arrow, whatever it was. Like, That's true. Works. I was going to figure out what the hell that arrow is. It's oh. time to about the ring. Indeed. Yeah, you got you guys got a lot of interesting stuff to play with this, this time around. Fancy Boy got two things right the the yes the pair and the, pair the amulet. And the amulet i got the belt hey bob got a, a, a robe that's true bob did get a robe fancy boy was jealous <laughs> looking very fancy the fancy <laughs> the fanciest of boys rad <laughs> all right well I'm... thanks for playing everybody thank you very thank much you for having us yay all thanks right. guys cool we'll see you next time bye internet bye, bye.